Okay, so basically I wanted to shoot a video that kind of helped trans girls like myself or people who are wondering if they were transgender help them understand whether they are or whether they're not. I'm going to remind you that I'm not a professional. I'm just a vlogger, and so I'm like really nobody. But I wanted to help those who may be struggling with it because I had to ask myself some questions, and this will help you understand who you are. Okay, so basically, um, I struggled um, with figuring it out myself. And I had to ask myself a few questions, and a few of those questions uh, were hard to come to. Like, why is it that I gravitate towards guy things if I'm a girl? Why do I feel like a girl but I have a man's body? Why is it that this is so confusing? Like, should I really like all the guy things that I like and not like some of the girl things? Because there's some girl things that I just don't get and I just don't like. Is that okay? Does that make me a guy? Um, the answers are no, they don't. And I wanted to explain that into a spectrum, in the spectrum of female spectrum, and where you land on that scale, and also male spectrum, um, and what makes you one or the other, if that makes sense. So let me show you the graph of what I drew up. It's a very cheesy thing, and I did not do a very good job, but hopefully this will help you understand what I mean. You don't have to gravitate to girl things to be a girl or to guy things to be a guy. Here you go. All right, so this is my cheesy drawing of the male and female spectrums. You can see on the top left, there's princess, and on the top right, there's tomboy. That's the female spectrum. And then you look at the bottom, male line, there is not manly and very manly on the right. And there's also the line in between. I personally fall somewhere between um, the in-between and the tomboy. I'm not 100% tomboy, but I'm also not princess. So this happens in the female category in cisgender women. There are cisgender girls, they're born in the right body, basically, and they feel like they're girls, and they feel like they are a princess. They want their hair brushed, and they want to be called a princess. They know they're a princess, and they declare it to the world. And then there's a cisgender girl born in the right body who is a tomboy. She wants to go play RC trucks with the boys and hang out and play baseball and soccer and do all those things. Of course, these are just silly examples, but I'm just trying to illustrate a point. And then down in the male category, it's the same thing along those lines. You can see there are those that are 100% not manly. And there are those who are 100% very manly. And then, of course, the people who fall in between. This is the same in both spectrums. Um, and this is not um, taking in con into consideration, you know, transgender. One of the confusing things for a lot of transgender girls is they feel like, well, they have to present 100% female to be a female. This is a false notion. Girls themselves, cisgender girls, don't present 100% female. There are girls who are very tomboyish. Again, they are happy with their gender. They know they're girls and they're happy being girls, but they are very tomboy. Does this make them a man? The answer would be no. And it goes the same in reverse for male. So now let's look at the female line one more time. Let's look at the female line and imagine it says trans female instead. It's actually the same line as female as trans female. It's no variation. You're either going to be a princess, an in-between, or a tomboy. So you can be anything, any shade in between, anything that there is on that spectrum. You can be 100% princess, 100% tomboy. These aren't deciding factors of whether you are a woman a genuine woman on the inside, if you think as a woman. That takes further in-depth exploration, and it takes time, and it takes some transition, and some deep in-thought, or in-depth thought and question asking. It may take some psychological evaluation, but in order to figure this out, you're going to have to ask yourself some more questions. So this is my cheesy graph, and I hope that was somewhat helpful.
Okay, so now that you watched that, I hope that kind of helps you understand a little bit more about yourself. Um, I basically am a tomboy, but the and I'm totally fine with that. And there's some girl things I don't like, like I said, but I pretty much am very, very happy with who I am. Um, and I don't need to present hyper-feminine, and I don't need to present um, in any way other than... I, than is me and what I naturally am. So I have to ask myself questions to know whether I'm trans now. And those questions are along these lines. Do I feel like a girl? Yes. Do I like presenting as a girl? Yes. Does it feel natural? Yes. Do I feel like a girl? Yes. Do I feel like a girl? Yes. If you feel like a girl, you're comfortable presenting as a girl, and you as you start to transition, feel more and more at ease and less stressed out, then you're probably a girl. Okay, and now I ask myself, can I see myself growing into an old man? Yes, and it would make me miserable. Do I see myself growing into an old woman? Yes, and I would be very happy with that. Um, do I see myself like being happy as the world sees me as a man? No. Do I see myself being happy if the world sees me as a woman and I interact with the world as a woman? The answer is yes. So these are some of the questions that you have to ask yourself. I'm hoping that this will be helpful in figuring out if you are a transgender or not, if you're struggling with this. Again, I'm not a professional. This isn't like hardcore science, but I think that this could be very telling on whether or not you are, if you are questioning it. I hope that this has been helpful.